So you know, they got to have a fastball right down the middle here. He missed the outside corner. Average leader at 347. He also leads him in doubles with 10, and he's gone the opposite way for a base hit. Two cats aboard in the top of one. Another base hit for the Bobcats. That's it hard into left field, hard enough where they will not tell Ben McLean to round third and head home. Check swing, didn't go around. A base is loaded walk, and the Bobcats have the open. And that's a big strikeout for Troy Wanzing, 40 on the. Get the swing and miss. Got him looking. Yeah, same pitch there, so now you're starting to see that confidence grow. I think just a little bit shaky getting out of the game. Well, he's hit that deep to left with two down, and the base is loaded. He leaves the yard. What a big swing of the bat for Ryan Leary. His fifth home run of the year is a grand slam. So another got out of jam, uh, out of a jam last Tuesday against Texas against the Longhorns. He went three scoreless innings, and then Sexton appeared in the Ole Miss series this weekend as well. Sort of jumps out of his hand, and man, it is coming downhill. Not an easy play for Davis Powell, and he didn't get Hunter. To right field, tracking back, Cade Manning. He's at the wall, and he'll make the catch just in front of it at any moment. Outside on the pitch to Austin Boast. Do that this first weekend was impressive. There he is. Rounding third base, Hunter Haas. Austin Boast goes to third. Werner makes them pay. Ripped down the left field line. Austin Boast will score. Very well, coulda, shoulda, woulda been four and five. Strikeout of Tar Portal. When people enter it, where do they hope they end up? The SEC. That's in the gap. Lavalette delivers. A&M's gonna try to get two out of this and they will. Chop back up the middle, and they'll go to second to get the force out there to end the inning. But after the Bobcats put up five of the regional last year. It was, yeah. A lot on the line there. That is off the fists of Ryder Hernandez, and Jack Moss will take the bag himself. Standing after that walk. High chopper. And a tough hop on Austin Bose. That bounced way up. And away from him, and that's a double for Ben McClain. That just what got enough on it to get through the left side. Yeah, so you see Davis Powell, it's coming hard, and it just dives away. There is a fastball away. It's a great pitch sequence there out here, and they don't excel, so this is cool to see. High in the air, it's over the infield. Got to work on the mound, too, and Trevor Werner takes charge. Those are tough, as you saw. Before transferring to San Marcos to play for Texas State, and he strikes out Jordan Thompson. Before transferring to San Marcos to play for Texas State, and he strikes out Jordan Thompson. There it is. He let that one go. Ripped it right into center field. It's a one-out single. Deep to left, out toward the wall and over it, Hunter Haas. Two-run homer, his fourth of the year. He puts the Aggies on top, 7-5. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. He was down 0-2, he fights pitches off. He Deep in the first inning, it was in the second inning, he extended the streak with a single ground ball here at second base. And 
Chase Morrill will. This one he skies. Shallow and right. Chase Mora calling for it. And he let the ball drop. Would have been the last out of the inning. But Minnick hits this softly. And the flip with the glove and another error. That's the fifth of the night on the Bobcats. And because of it, they can't get the third out. To the right center field. Got him swinging. So Austin Smith works through a couple of those on balls. That's correct. And the two hits he allowed weren't sharply hit. I don't know what. Is there an off gold? Is that in the color wheel? <laughs> Somewhere. Jordan Thompson will take care of the fly ball for stomp of home plate after the big home run. Center field again. And Jordan Thompson again. So Matt Dillard comes in. I mean, shoot, look at Minnick. Look at Jace for the Aggies. They're great players from other leagues. They're great players from other leagues. Year to year quickly. See LSU. Right. Jordan Thompson. It's a windy night blowing out. Does it have enough? Yes, it does. Thompson leaves the yard over the left center field wall. His second of the season. Home run, number two of the year for and another walk. It did not make a start, though, this past weekend in the Arkansas State Series. Hunter Haas, just like all year, he's got it going. He's draws a walk here. Can't see where that ball was height wise. Uh, he didn't have it rolling yet. That's right. That'll stay in the yard. And it's going to give uh, <laughs> Ryder Hernandez see. a chance. He'll make the catch. You see how he had to. Strike out there by Nathan Madrano of a big hitter. That's a bouncing ball. That's going to have to be a tough play for Hunter Haas. Not really a chance to make it. Probably going to be an infield and just try to. Not going to be an easy play for Trevor Werner, but he does have a big arm and he got. And a walk issued. Four pitch walk, bases loaded with Bob. Big strikeout for Robert Hogan, and you could tell Gonzalez. It the end of the gap, right center field. Three will score. He'll clear the bases with a double. Texas State within a run. So a strikeout of Mora ends the inning. But now you're on to Brad Rudis, the right-hander for Texas A&M pitching. And this is to center field, backing up all the way to the track and over the wall. Home run by Cade Manning ties the game. But got over the wall. What an incredible at-bat there. As Texas State puts a run on the board. Texas State has fought back with four in a row, laying down the bunt and a base runner. Got him picked. The Aggies dropped the ball at second base. And Brandon Garcia gets an immediate strike. Brandon Garcia has struck out another Bobcat. Haas on the run. He'll throw out McLean. Staying on the base is Dalen Pena. Right side of it. Moss doesn't matter. Loops one into center field. Made a big turn at first base, but no 
No thought of going to second, but toward the gap and left center. If it lands, it might give the Aggies the lead, and it looks like it will. Moss is around third base. AM takes back the advantage in the seventh. Boast. They're going to go to third to get the lead runner. Post is saying he slid in safely. Went in with that right hand. Oh, he got him. Yeah, I think he got the glove on him. He got him. Should we get some applause from the Texas State fans that are in attendance? Here comes the call. There you and go. And he's safe. The call is overturned. And the Aggies have a they got him a three-pitch strikeout. Now there's two down. Runners going. Fake a throw to second base and to right, trying to run it down, and he'll get there. Cade Manning. So kind of some tough hops there at Hunter Haas, but he made the play. That's going to be That hit. will not be an easy play. Wow. Warner with the bare hand. Warner again with the big arm will close it. Texas A&M hangs on to beat Texas State by a run. A&M trailed by five after the top of the first, so it's their biggest comeback 